Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and today I want to talk to you about an extremely iconic pen coming from Pilot, the Custom 823. Now we featured this in other videos before, like the seven pens to last a lifetime. We haven't really given love specifically to the 823 in its own video, so here you go. This is a fantastic daily writer. I think a lot of people would consider it to be a workhorse pen. We've even seen celebrities like Neil Gaiman are fans of using this pen on a regular basis. And for good reason. I'm gonna cover all the aspects of this pen in this video. And I think this one kind of falls into the category of actually attainable and pretty affordable holy grail pen territory. So let's explore why that is. Here in the US, we have two colors available on the 823. We have an amber with gold trim, which we've seen for quite a while. And then we have a relatively new offering, which is smoke with gold trim. Both are slightly translucent in color. So holding the pen in my hand, the grip is incredibly comfortable. It's about 10 and a half millimeters in size, which is just about the perfect size for a grip, whether you have small or large hands. The step is very minimal because the cap largely sits over top of the rest of the pen. So it's a very slight, slight difference in size between the grip and the rest of the pen. It has some threads right here, but they're not very sharp. So even if you place your fingers on them, it's not gonna really hurt your fingers very much. First impression is the pen just feels really good. It's so well balanced because of the filling mechanism here, which I'll get to in a minute, but it's just clearly designed by a pen company that really understands how people write. So the overall weight of the pen is 29 grams, which is kind of in the mid to just getting into the slightly heavier range. And a lot of that's because of the filling mechanism. It's got some metal components, even though the pen is mostly resin. And it's gonna be similar in weight if you're familiar with like the Lamy 2000 or the Pilot Vanishing Point. It's gonna be right in that range. So the pen is very evenly balanced. It's got the rod inside for the vacuum filler, which kind of distributes the weight throughout the whole body of the pen. And the cap is not as significant a weight as the body of the pen. So that means that it's gonna feel pretty good in your hand, whether you have it posted or unposted. It's really up to you based on the length of the pen. So it has a 14 karat gold nib, which is a Japanese nib because it's coming from Pilot Japan. They have a fine, medium, and broad. And the fine and medium especially tend to be a little bit finer than most of your European pen brands, especially German pen brands. So if you want to get more on the finer side, this is a great pen for doing that. And it's about a number six size. Pilot makes proprietary nibs, so it doesn't quite match up and it's not interchangeable. In fact, they have something in their packaging saying, definitely don't take the nib out. But if you like that size of nib, that's about what you're looking at here. So the way that this pen feels when it writes is really where it truly shines. It's got a smooth nib, a little bit of spring to it. It really is kind of that ideal gold nib feel to it. When you're talking about how a gold nib should write, the Custom 823 is pretty much what you're looking for. The 823 has a screw cap and it has one and three quarter rotations required in order to cap and uncap the pen. You can technically do it without having to remove your fingers off the pen, but it's just at that point where it might not be comfortable for some of you to do that. So you may want to reposition your hands one time. The cap posts very securely on the back. You really feel like it grabs onto it. So even as I'm writing, I never feel like the cap is in any danger of flinging off the back of the pen. So if you'd like to write with the pen posted, it posts very securely onto the back. It feels like it almost kind of grabs it. It's just tension fit on there, but you just press it a little bit and it's really secure. I don't ever feel like the cap is in any danger of flinging off the back of the pen. The clip is a tension clip, so it just is under pressure holding the clip onto the pen. And it's got a ball on the end of the clip, so it does a pretty good job of getting onto your shirt pocket or maybe a shirt type material. I wouldn't quite go as far as putting on something as thick as jeans material. It's not quite a pocket pen for that, but it'll definitely be good in any type of shirt pocket or purse or pen case. So there is a cap insert here, which actually helps to keep all the moisture contained when you have the pen capped. The nib stays wet and it makes it so that it's a reliable writer every time you uncap the pen. One of the most notable aspects of this pen is the filling mechanism. It has a vacuum filler, which is not super common in pens today. You might see it in the Twisby VAC 700R, the Visconti Homo Sapiens, they have similar features. But the way that this thing works is it has a filler knob that you unscrew on the back, you pull the rod all the way back, it has a rubber seal that hugs against the walls of the pen as you push it down. 
and that creates a vacuum pressure behind the back of that seal. And then right as you release it, it drops off, which allows the pressure to equalize and it sucks the ink up into the pen. It's pretty cool. The technology is pretty interesting and it's definitely a more unique aspect of the pen. Some benefits of the vacuum filler is it can hold a really large ink capacity. When you max it out, it's about two and a half milliliters, which is really a lot of ink. It's about five times your typical short cartridge converter. And when you deal with pens that have this much ink capacity, like an eyedropper pen, for example, you can get burping and things like that because of how much air and ink is inside the pen. But that doesn't happen with the vacuum filler because when you close the filler knob all the way down, it actually seals off the ink chamber from the rest of the pen. It makes it ideal for flying with a pen or traveling with any type of altitude or pressure change. The one notable thing about that, because your ink chamber is closed off when you're using the pen, you have to open it up periodically to allow more ink to flow through. Now, if you're gonna be writing for long periods of time at once, you can just open up that knob and you can just allow it to kind of be free flowing as you're writing but Pilot was really thoughtful about this. They allowed space in the cap so that you can have that filler knob open and you can still cap the pen and it doesn't impede that knob. Very thoughtful. Now it holds a lot of ink, but it's also, there's not really a quick way to clean out this pen. You basically just have to pump it over and over and over again. So this isn't a great ink sampling pen. Pretty much you're gonna wanna stick with one, maybe color genre of ink and stick with that for a while because cleaning it out is a little bit of a chore. And then when you buy a custom 823 in the US, it comes packaged with a bottle of Pilot 70 milliliter blue ink. Now it's a special bottle. You can't get this apart from the pen in the United States. So it's really kind of like a special little um, you know, prize that you get when you purchase this pen. Uh, however, it's the exact same ink as Namiki Blue if you wanna still get the same ink experience. So there is the Pilot Custom 823. You can learn more about it on gulepens.com. We have it available there for $288 as of the shooting of this video in both color options. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I personally would love to know if you think that this is a grail-worthy pen. And if not, what is your grail pen? Thanks so much for watching and right on.